It was a strange thing to inherit. When your great aunt passed away, everyone expected the usual. Old furniture, dusty antiques, maybe a few family heirlooms. But no one had anticipated the mirror. It had been hidden away in her attic for decades, covered with an old sheet, almost forgotten by the family. Until you received the letter, she had left the mirror to you, specifically. At first, you didn't think much of it. The mirror was tall, framed in dark wood, intricately carved with symbols and patterns you didn't recognize. Its surface was perfectly smooth, reflecting the room with eerie clarity. There was something unsettling about the way it caught the light, almost as if it absorbed more than it reflected. Still, you placed it in the corner of your bedroom. It was just a mirror, after all. What harm could it do? The first few nights, everything seemed normal. You went about your routines, occasionally catching your reflection in the mirror as you passed by. But as the day wore on, you began to notice something odd. Your reflection wasn't quite right. It was subtle at first, a slight delay when you moved, a flicker of something in the background that wasn't really there. You brushed it off, telling yourself it was just your mind playing tricks on you, but then it got worse. One evening, as you sat in front of the mirror brushing your hair, you noticed it again. Your reflection was moving out of sync with you. It raised its arm a fraction of a second after you did, its eyes flickering with an intensity that sent a shiver down your spine. You froze, staring at the glass. The reflection didn't. It continued brushing its hair, slowly, deliberately, even as you sat there motionless. You backed away from the mirror, your heart pounding in your chest. This couldn't be happening. It was impossible. But there it was, your reflection, moving on its own, staring back at you with the eyes that didn't belong to you anymore. You left the room that night, telling yourself you'd deal with it in the morning. But as you lay in bed, you couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching you. You kept your eyes tightly shut, trying to block out the fear creeping into your mind. The next day, you covered the mirror with a sheet, but the unease remained. A few nights later, you woke in the middle of the night. The house was silent, but something had pulled you from sleep, a feeling deep in your gut that something was wrong. You sat up, your eyes adjusting to the darkness. The sheet that had covered the mirror was on the floor. You stared at the uncovered glass, your pulse quickening. You hadn't touched it, had you? But there it was, the mirror fully exposed, reflecting the room in the dim light. You slowly climbed out of bed, your feet cold against the floor, and stepped closer to the mirror. Your reflection stared back at you, perfectly still. You exhaled, relieved. Maybe it had just slipped off, you thought. Maybe it was nothing. But as you turned to go back to bed, something caught your eye. The reflection didn't turn with you. Your breath caught in your throat as you slowly turned back to face the mirror. Your reflection stood there, facing you, its eyes wide and cold. It smiled, a slow, deliberate smile that didn't reach its eyes. And then, without warning, it stepped out of the mirror. The air grew impossibly cold as your reflection stood in front of you, towering over you with that twisted smile. You backed away, your heart racing, but it followed, its movement smooth and unnatural, like a marionette being pulled by invisible strings. You stumbled, falling to the floor as it loomed over you, its smile stretching wider, its eyes gleaming with something dark, something hungry. You should have left me alone, it whispered, its voice barely more than a hiss, and then it bent down, reaching for you with hands that no longer felt like your own.